Good afternoon, butterflies. This is the Awakened Butterfly, and I am back with another video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, please stay for the entire video. If you enjoy the content, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. How's it going, my lovely butterflies? I hope you all are having a blessed and amazing afternoon. I hope everyone is continuing to take care of themselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. And to all of my day ones and my newcomers, welcome and welcome back. I love you all so much, and I really appreciate all of your support. Guys, as you can tell by the title of this video, yes, I am back with another Butterfly Rant Thursday. And in this rant, you guys would probably get to hear a little bit of my personality because I had to show my other side to someone today and me being who I am, I wasn't happy about it, but then eventually I overcame that feeling because God showed me all the times that I was patient with these people, all the times that I was nice to these people, all the times that I accepted the bullying and persecution from these people. Guys, I've been praying very hard. I've been asking God to make me a better person. I've been trying to grow closer to him. And I've been also asking him to bless me with the love and patience, grace and mercy to have that for others as just, you know, just as he has for us. So me also being a person that already possess a lot of those factors. I tend to take things off of people. Sometimes things that I probably shouldn't take off of people. So when I do come to a point where I'm upset and I can't take it anymore and I eventually lash out on someone, I feel very bad about it because I feel like I stepped out of my character. And the Lord He's, I'm not going to say that he wants you to go out there and just literally cause some type of violence because you're upset with someone, but there does come a point to where God allows you to express yourself in a way that people can't do anything but listen. Because when you try to do it the other way, they didn't hear you. Whether you try to just come in peace whether you tried to ignore the persecution that was being used against you, you know, it just comes to that point, guys. And today I had to come on here and share a story time and experience with you guys that I just had less than an hour ago with my neighbors. Um, Guys, first of all, let me, okay, the last rant that I did, I just want to let you know that the neighbor has still continuously brought their dogs on my property, continuously looked through my window and has still tried to ask intruding questions. But now they're bringing more people into it. And you guys remember what I told you in the last video, when one demon comes in, they're going to eventually try to bring others in with them to try and gang up on you and break you down so they can try to manipulate you and gain control just as the enemy does. And I think that's what my neighbor has done. So it's like now when I'm coming outside, there's a group of people, you know, of neighbors and they're standing, you know, in an area where they know I have to walk past them, right? Right. So they do things like call my dog by name in order to get my dog's attention, right? So once my dog turns around, once they've got my dog's attention, they now have my attention because I have to get my dog, you know, back focused so they can go do what they really came outside to do. And they try and always, it's like, now that I can't really get her, now I'm going to try to distract her, you know, I'm going to try to get to her through her animals. It's like they just keep trying new tactics to harass me. And 
today, guys, when I went outside, there was a group of people standing nearby and I walked past, you know, past them. I didn't say anything. I don't even speak to my neighbors anymore because now I know the type of people they are. The Lord has shown me. So I don't even say anything because I know how I treated them before and I know how I treat them now. And I, I know all of the reasons why, and there's several. So now in order to just keep, you know, things at peace and I feel still cordial, even though they may not see it as cordial because I'm not communicating, that's just how I see it. So once I do that, the, the one once, okay, now I've walked past them with my dog. So now my very next door neighbor and the other neighbor, they're standing there watching me walk my dog. So now when I come back, the neighbor that I told you that looks through the window, now she's standing there with them, right? Okay. So now I'm like, let me just go the other way because now they're all crowding my space you know, and it's like, I can tell they were talking about me because now when I walk back down, the huddle's gone. They were all huddled up at first and then now everybody's spreading out. So I just went the other way. I didn't want to even, you know, go their way. So I had to bring my other dog out and walk her. So now this is when they want to start the bullying. So she's mad at me from the other day because she sent her roommate over. See, guys, now she's adding more people into the mix. So now I'm trying to still mind my own business. And, you know, and now she's sending her roommate over asking, can they see my dog? And I told them no. And I went into the house. And yes, my door did slam because I was trying to get my dog inside because, okay, let me just say this. I started to develop anxiety over this because it's like now every time I go outside, I have someone watching me or now they're going to try to get in my business. They're trying to get close to me. And I started to get paranoid and I started to gain anxiety every time I went outside. And now since I did what I did, that anxiety is gone. We're going to get to that. Okay. So it's like, okay. The other day, guys, now this is what started the even heavier persecution. She looked through my window, right? This weekend, it was, I think it was Friday. She looked through my window and I've never done this before. I walked up, looked out the blinds at her dead in her face and I shut my blinds. I've never done that. So as soon as I done that, she walked away. Okay, now I didn't go and look out my front window to see if she was standing in front of my front door because usually she'll do that once I get her away from my kitchen window. Okay, so, but after I went outside um, later on that day, I did see dog pee in front of my door. So I'm like, okay, that's her little um, signature to let me know that, you know, I didn't really get rid of her completely, you know? So... I was like, that, that kind of made me a little upset. I'm like, okay, you know, I'm, I keep praying about this. You know, this woman is getting, you know, worse than what she's doing. You know, this is getting crazy. So guys, I still didn't say anything. But now it's like I did because she, me shutting those blinds in her face, it, I think that kind of really let her know that she's really, really aware of what I'm doing. But I don't see how she couldn't know I was never aware. You know, you're just looking through someone's window. Guys, when I say looking through, I mean very closely looking through. Okay. Um, so when her roommate, now after this happened, I would say two days later, now she's outside by herself, right? So I shut, okay, wait a minute. Wait, let me make sure I'm doing this right. No, no, guys, wait a minute. Okay. She asked me her, okay, wait a minute. Let me get this right, guys. Okay. I'm I'm walking my dog 
She sent her roommate over to ask if she could see another dog that I had in the house. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. I told him no, that he couldn't see my dog, and I went into the house. Okay, two days later, she's standing outside. She didn't say a word to me, right? Um, And it seems like when she saw me, she had some... She When I came back around, someone else was standing there. And then they'd walk up and ask me a question about my dog. So it's like she started to bring people with her to help her with the harassment. So a few days after that, she walked up and looked in my window and I closed the blinds. Okay, so now I'm assuming from what happened today, she got mad because of that. You know, why would you get mad because I'm shutting my blinds and you're looking through directly through my kitchen window? Guys, this woman is up as early as 6 a.m. looking through my window. It's it's just really unreal to me. It's, it's spooky. It's weird. Okay, so um, the next thing you know, I'm walking back out the house with the other dog. Now, she, me and her usually speak to each other. So instead of, I just, you know, I just stopped, you know, because to me at this point, they're just being straight out disrespectful. She didn't speak to me, but she spoke to my dog. I'm just like, okay. And her huddle of friends are still standing where they were when I walked by before. And she told my dog, I, I told my dog to come on. I'm like, come on, Ebony, you know? And she was like, yeah, Ebony, go potty, go potty. I know, I know. And I, I don't I mean like, what does she mean by that? So I turned around, I looked at her, I said, mind your business. I told her to just mind her business because I don't want them saying anything to me. I don't want them saying anything to my animals. I don't want them near my property. You're a gang stalker. Leave me alone. So I told her to mind her business and her two gang stalking perp friends were standing there in a huddle with another neighbor and they were just staring at me and I, the other neighbor spoke to me and I spoke to them back and I told them that I would be better if people just mind their own business. And guys, this is because I'm just fed up. I'm, I'm just tired, you know? I'm tired of it because I feel like I'm being bullied at this point. Okay, so guys, here comes the gaslighting, okay? If I've never seen it before, let's run down the facts before I give you this woman's gaslighting um, act, Okay. You first start by walking up, trying to hold a conversation with me, you and your friend, like everything's okay. They walk in, you guys see in the beginning, everything was cool. They used to, they used to walk up and talk about the weather or just random things. And I think at this, you know, this is the first stage of gang stalking. They were trying to get in my good graces, trying to get, you know, in my circle. So they weren't completely in my circle because I never hung out with them and they never came into my home. I've never been in theirs, but we spoke to each other. I have, um, I do like to cook and make things. I have brought them, you know, nice little goodies, little gestures that I've made, you know, just being neighborly. And then I would, I would give it to them and then I would just go back home. I'll say just a nicely neighbor gesture. And that was it. Um, my other neighbor that lives next door to me, I've actually um, made dinner for them one time and they didn't ask me to do it. I just did it because they told me that they were having eye surgery and they were, you know, I knew that they probably needed some help. So that was just my way of just trying to show love to my neighbors. Um, so I've never done anything ill to anybody. I've always respected everybody and showed love. So that's why I think today was my breaking point. You know, and then on top of you putting a camera in my face while I'm walking my dog, looking through my window, asking me weird questions like, what do I do for work and things like that. That's just, that's just very disrespectful to me. Now, on top of that, you have your roommate to walk up and ask to see my dog. And you're walking up, trying to rub my dog's, you know, stomach, asking, is your dog pregnant? Has it ever been pregnant? I mean, it's just weird. I don't like 
you know, it's just really weird how this person is so intrusive and so worried about my life and we're not friends. You know, sometimes this person, guys, I didn't tell you this since the last, um, butterfly rant, this person, I went, I was leaving out the house to go and do laundry. I spoke to this person. They didn't even speak to me. They looked at me like they didn't know me and her and her roommate, they do it a lot. You know, one minute they would you know, speak because I always speak to my neighbors. And when I speak to these people, because I speak first, they won't say anything. Sometimes they would turn their heads and then some days they would say something, but that's only when they probably want to ask a nosy question. And guys, I don't answer their questions. So it seems like that's probably what's irritating them, you know, that I won't just fall in and just invite them in my home and just give them, you know, all access to my life because I know their intentions are not good. Anyone that's doing the things that they're doing, I feel that they're part of the gang stalking program. So I would never let them into my home and answer their questions. And now that I feel that they've caught on, you know, now that they know that I know, they're irritated because... Now, guys, my camera's going up. I'm about to install my camera. Um, one has just been ordered from Amazon a couple of weeks ago. And I will be going this weekend to get me a drill gun. And I will be putting my camera up just in case I need some evidence of gang stalking. And, you know, okay, so I come back. Let me get back to the story, guys. Guys, this is a rant, okay? I'm all over the place. You know, I just got upset today and lost my cool, which is something that I haven't done in a long time. So if I'm talking fast and I'm all over the place, please forgive me. Please bear with me and stay tuned to this story because it gets interesting. Okay, so guys, remember I told you she walked by and said something to my dog and I told her to mind her business. And I also told, and what I said to the other neighbor about people minding their business. I walk, come from my walk with my dog, which is, you know, so a few miles down the road and back. So I take this walk. I come back. Um, They're still standing there. Okay. And then by this time, I guess she walked in the house. And so when she saw me coming back out, she said, coming back down the street, she said, are you okay? Guys, how could this woman have the nerve to ask me if I'm okay? Do you see that? The gaslighting tactic? See, these gang stalkers are playing, trying to play you right in your face. And I'm just getting to the point where I'm sick of it, you know? And I want you guys, after I tell you this, the rest of this story, I want you to let me know down in the comment section, um, how do you feel like I'm wrong for how I handled the situation? Because I really am a good person at the end of the day, and I don't like being mean to people. I don't like fighting. I don't like any of that. But I'm also human at the end of the day, and I let people get away with so much, and you know, till I can't anymore. You know, I try to keep the peace, and it gets to the point. So, hold on, guys. All right, butterflies, I'm back. My butter, my I'm sorry, my fur baby was making too much noise, so I had to put him in the living room. All right, guys, so I'm back. Um, where did I leave off? Okay, so. Now she's asking me if I'm okay after all the things that she's done. Keep in mind, I've never confronted her about these things. I've even spoke to her like I didn't even see what she was doing a lot of the time. So at this point, everything's all, you know, bottled up inside. And now I'm at my breaking point. I've been praying about this. I've been talking to God about it, asking him to please give me patience. Please, you know, help me contain myself when I'm dealing with these gang stalkers, you know, and ignore them and not to give them, you know, my energy. But today, I I just couldn't hold it in. And I told her, I said, yes, I do. You know, I have a problem. Something is wrong. I said, and she started to talk. I said, no, you, you let me talk. I said, you've been looking through my window. You have been recording me asking these all of these crazy questions i said and then now you're huddled up in a group talking about me when i walk by i said and i don't want you to ever say anything else to me again don't speak to me don't ask me a question don't say another word to me guys when i said this to this woman 
she did not try to explain herself. She did not say, this is not true. She did not say anything like that. She huddled up for a second with her friends. She walked over to her door. One of her friends went in the house. The other one walked over with her. When I walked back by to go in the house, they both had their head down and turned away from me. And then eventually they both, you know, went inside. And it seemed, you know, and see, that's, that's what, I'm trying the point I'm trying to express in this video. Guys, we're only human. You know, we're not perfect. We're not robots. And God made every emotion. He even made anger. He made frustration. When you know you've been nothing but a good person to someone, when you know you've never disrespected someone, when you know you've never crossed boundaries with someone, don't you ever feel bad when you may have to get to a point when you have to check someone? Because if a bully never gets checked, they'll never understand their boundaries. Because all they see is someone being weak, letting them continuously get away with something. Sometimes you just have to stop people in their tracks and say, wait a minute, I'm not the one. You know, I see what you're doing and this won't be happening again. You have to back people up out of your personal space. You can tell that things are spiritual warfare because everyone's acting the same. They're either gossiping, you know, slandering someone's name trying to manipulate someone in order to gain access to their life so they can try and control and manipulate them. And then they turn around and gaslight. This is to try to make you feel that you're crazy, to make you feel that you're not experiencing these things, hoping that you would event you know, eventually submit to their request of controlling your life. How bizarre is that? Guys, I'm not going for it anymore. A gang stalker can gang stalk me, but I'm not going to let them feel comfortable in their skin while they're doing it anymore. And I want to send this message out to let you guys know the same. This doesn't mean that, you know, you get yourself in trouble engaging in any violent acts. You know, if someone puts their hands on you and tries to hurt you, you have to do what you have to do. But otherwise, you know, if it's just the regular gang stalking, if, if you haven't confronted your gang stalkers, just let them know that you know what they're doing. And I promise you, you, you won't have to say anything else again. This doesn't mean that you're not going to continuously get gang stalked by other people. It may not even, you know, they may even try and do it privately. But it won't, you know, they won't be as bold and intrusive. Because it seems that when it comes to these demons, oh, and guys, I want to add this in and, and everything I'm saying in this video is truth. And it, it all just happened. Um, I told her that instead of her worrying about me, she needed to try and get her life right with God. Guys, that's my fur babies. I'm sorry. I did. Hold on, guys. Um, yep, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just don't like them doing all that barking while I'm um, doing my videos. Um, the neighbors were walking by once again. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, so I told her that while she was worrying about me and gossiping about everyone in the neighborhood, that she needed to be trying to get her life right with God. That is exactly what I told her. And I meant exactly what I said. Because anyone that's trying to get right with God, they wouldn't be out, you know, in their neighborhood harassing and trying to bully people. And this is no judge or no shade. 
And I'm not trying to act like I'm holier than thou, but I have enough God in me to know what gang stalking is and right from wrong. And I'm not ever going to go out here and pick with someone and bully someone. I've never been like that and I never will be. And I'm not going to let anyone do it to me anymore. And guys, that's why I wanted another reason why, you know, me making this video. I want to let you know that, you know, this video is for anyone out there who is experiencing bullying from someone. And I know that you're trying to stay right with God and you feel that you should turn the other cheek, you know. Well, sometimes you can't keep turning the other cheek because sometimes when you keep doing that, it can make that demon grow so strong that it would really, really, you know, try and cause some real harm into your life. Sometimes you have to back people up. Sometimes people think that what they do is unknown. They think it's unseen. And what they fail to realize is the most high sees it, even if you didn't see it. So, you know, none of these evil works are going to be looked over without some sort of punishment. No one goes through anything, um, any evil acts in life and don't receive some sort of punishment from, from it, from the most high. That's just how it is. So, you know, I'm not going to say anything else to these people, but today I had to let them know that I knew what they were doing to me and that they should never expect any kind of conversation out of me again. At all. Guys, the harassment continues. These are all spam calls. Every time I do a video, they always come through. It's all about manipulate and manipulation and control, guys. People want manip they want to manipulate you and to control you. People want to control what comes out of your mouth, how it comes out of your mouth, the tone that it comes out when you say it. People these days are wanting to strip you of your personality. And don't be surprised if you see them walking around trying to act like you. The same things that they're telling you not to do. That's why we have to stand up for ourselves. We can't let people, you know, chosen ones, we cannot let people strip us of who we are. Our personalities. If God made you someone to live out loud, you know, if you have a bold, vibrant voice, don't let anyone tell you that, oh, you talk too loud. You should, you know, lower your voice. And maybe that's my, that's how my voice sounds, guys. It's like a deep, broad voice. My family is from Harlem, New York. So sometimes I, you know, that's just how my voice sounds. I also have a lot of family from Alabama, Detroit, you know, just places where the accent and the, the voice tone is very strong. And I do hold that. And a lot of the times when people are intimidated by you, they try to use a lot of the strong characteristics that the Most High gave you. And they try and hold it against you to try and make you, you know, water yourself down. And I'm here to tell you guys right now, you are rightfully made through the works of the Most High. If you know you're a good person and you know that you're trying your best to live a righteous life and be close to God, don't let anyone make you feel that who you are is not rightfully made through the works of God. God makes no mistakes. And the way that I feel that God made me, you know, and I have to accept that I'm a very nice person. I have patience. I take a lot. But after a while, enough is enough. And not to be mad at myself because I stand up for myself when someone crosses those boundaries with me. And I want you guys to know the same. There's nothing wrong with having that good heart. That's how God made you. I love it. I ask God to never harden my heart or to make me bitter no matter how someone treats me. But just know that he also gave you that other side for a reason. That's your strength. That's your power. To hold, to rightfully hold what the Most High blessed you with so no one can strip you of it. He gave you that strong voice to speak up for yourself. 
and to spread his word and to speak up for what's right and to, you know, and to express yourself. And let's be honest. If you're watching this video, this video is for you. You know how to treat people. You know how to talk to people. You know that this stuff that these gang stalkers out here are doing to you is something that you would never turn around and do to someone else. And, you know, guys, that's why we take this so hard because a lot of us are in past. We have big hearts and a lot of us, you know, are just all around good, you know, good people, period. That doesn't mean we don't make mistakes, but overall, we're good people. We're not going to try and hurt someone. We're not going to team up with people and try to bully and harass people. We try to live in peace and mind our business. And I'm here to let you know, don't let anyone break that peace from you. When a person starts to get too invasive, you let them know it's time to back up. Let them know that you're a child of God. You're trying to live a righteous life. You're a grown man or woman. You're not here for the games and you're not dealing with it. You know, sometimes, you know, you know, what's crazy. Majority of these people that are joining these gang stalking programs and guys, I'm convinced that my neighbor has joined the gang stalking program. She does not for surely. She's asking me what I do for work. I have an occupation. She for surely doesn't. So maybe she was hired to do these things to me and because she's most certainly fitting the description of a gang stalker. Looking through my window, recording me, asking me invasive questions, and then gaslighting after confronted. Sounds like a gang stalker to me, guys. Guys, it is what it is. When we see these things with these people, it is what it is. If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's most certainly a duck, okay? I know sometimes these things seem so bizarre and far-fetched that it may make us seem like sometimes we're either hallucinating or overreacting, but I'm here to tell you guys, this is spiritual warfare, you are not overreacting and you are seeing what you are seeing. There are demons operating through these people. They no longer have control of themselves. And guess what? He attacks them. Gang stalkers get possessed and, and attacked by their handler, which is the main demonic force, be, due to whatever weakness they have. If they were a heavy gospel before they signed up or got demonically possessed to become a gang stalker, it's going to be times 10 now. If they were a bully, you know, or a violent person before they got asked to or volunteered to or signed up for the gang stalking program, it's going to be times 10. They use their own weaknesses against them, their own demonic, you know, characteristics in order to go out and do evil things to other people. They're being used. They're being strung along like puppets and don't even know it. That's why I told her that she needs to try and get right with God instead of worrying about me. And you know, I'm not judging her. I'm just going by the fruits of her labor. She's worried about what I do. She's, she sees the fruits of my labor. She shouldn't even have to ask. And I don't even look at her to see what she does. I just see her coming outside to walk her dogs or to smoke her cigarette. But I don't ask her questions. It's her business, you know? I just speak to my neighbor and go on. I always looked at her as a cool neighbor. Never had any animosity or ill will towards her or any one of my other neighbors, you know, for that matter. When they started to move like this, no, I don't want you saying anything else to me because now you're you're being watched. I'm going to have a camera. You know, one of my packages um, from Amazon said that it was delivered yesterday and I never got it. So now, guys, I think they're starting to steal packages as well. So, you know, the persecution, the gang stalking is getting stronger on my end, but I'm going to continue to pray and I'm probably going to fast, you know, very soon. I don't know when, but I feel that I need to pick a day and start that. And, you know, I just want everyone to know, and I'm pretty sure you guys know this, but when you get closer to God, that's when the persecution gets stronger because now you're walking away from iniquity and you're, you're walking more righteously and the enemy is upset with you. So he is going to send people that were secretly jealous of you, that had secret animosity against you, that were secretly dogging you behind your back. All those people that were smiling in your face that you thought were cool. He's going to use those same people to harass you. And at the same time, 
he's going to deceive them by having them to expose themselves to you. So then they're going to get cut off. And once they get cut off, they're going to be upset because they can no longer secretly underhandedly do the things to you that they were once doing. That's why we have to stand up sometimes, you know, because see, sometimes if you keep letting people get close and do things, they can get so close that they can actually do something to harm you. You know, the most high gives us signs and me personally, I'm just going to put the religion to the side. I do think he has times where, um, you know, with his good people, it's enough is enough and they, they lash out sometimes or they just, you know, straighten someone and let them know how they feel. Cause see, once you let a person know that, you know, they're probably not going to be quick to try and, you know, keep on doing things. And if they do it, they're going to try to do it as underhandedly as possible because they know now that, you know, and you're on to them. So I want you to know that, you know, your relationship with the most high and the most high knows your heart. So if you've had to recently straighten someone or if you feel like it's about that time, you know, with some gang stalking perps in your neighborhood and your family and your relationships, whether it's a friendship or an intimate relationship, you know, just think about how you have treated that person. And, you know, you've been good to this person, you know, you've never done these things to this person. You know, that's probably one of the number one reasons why you're so upset. Let them know, you know. Don't hold back. All right, guys. I love you so much. I had to come through and share this message and, you know, let you guys know what happened and, you know, let you guys know that if you've been such a good, sweet person and you've held a lot of things in and you feel like you're going through a transformation with the most high, just know he will fix you to speak up for yourself when you probably never did. Don't look at it as, you know, everything with God is just, you know, oh, he would never have me to, you know, to speak up to, to someone like that. Or No, you never know. You never know what the Most High would use you as a vessel for. And I'm not going to say he, he would ever use you as a vessel to hurt someone, but to straighten someone and to let them know that you know what they're doing and to speak up for yourself. Yes, why not? Don't ever let anyone deceive you into thinking that the Most High wouldn't want you to speak up for yourself. Because, you know, me personally, I just don't believe that. He's a he's a God of love and peace, but, you know, he's also a God of war. He's fighting against demonic entities for us to be able to walk amongst this earth every day. Do you think he's happy with these gang stalkers? Do you think he's happy with these people that have persecuted against people so bad that They've either they've either either taken these people to their demise or they've made these people meet their own demise. Do you think he's happy with these people? Of course not. Not at all. So don't ever think that he will be mad at you for standing up for yourself against these people. Okay? I love you guys so much. Um I had to come through and drop this important message and story time. Um, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, share the video if you don't care. Um, communicate with me down in the comment section or you guys can message me on Instagram. Um, Awaken Butterfly underscore seven. Um, if you guys would like to check out the Patreon, you can do that as well at patreon.com Butterfly Truth ENT podcast. Um, I have much more content to drop for you guys. Uh, stay safe out there. Stay prayed up. Stand in your truth. Don't be afraid to speak up for what's right against these demons out here, these gang stalkers, all right? Um, continue to let your light shine. I love you guys so much. And until the next video, peace and blessings.